On Tuesday, Mexico's attorney general announced that the government's investigation into the disappearance of 43 students from IOT Napa was concluded. That's despite social organizations, supporters and family denouncing that declaration. Clayton Kahn reports from Mexico. Here in front of the offices of Mexico's Attorney General, social organizations that support the families of the disappeared 43 Ayotzinapa students symbolically shut down the agency in rejection to the government's declaration on Tuesday that the students were murdered. We firmly condemn the intention to close the investigation because it seems to us that pays away to systemic repression. In the Tuesday press conference, the country's Attorney General, Jesus Murillo Caram, affirmed that the students were murdered on the night of September 26 by the organized crime group Guerreros Unidos. The teacher training students were deprived of their liberty, deprived of life, incinerated and tossed into the San Juan River. In that order, this is the historic truth of the events. However, the families and classmates of the missing youth categorically reject the government's investigation, demanding that further lines be opened that are not solely based on witness testimony. The current inquiry and investigation cannot be closed because it's not a conclusive investigation, because there is not yet scientific certainty clearly stating that the colleagues were killed in Cocula. With their distrust in the official investigation, the families have declared that they will seek further international assistance, taking the Ayotzinapa case to Geneva and the UN's Committee Against Enforced Disappearances. Clayton Cantalosur, Mexico City.